All right, next match I'm going to be doing for you guys is Silent Castle's team on top, known as 4Move. And on bottom, we got Shintroy's team, the Wild MIV. I think that's uh, the name of the team. Yeah, it is. I just had to make sure. All right, so Silent Castle has STD SC guy, the Paladin. Oh, Southern Cross guy. Okay, I gotcha. S stand oh, it's Standard. Okay. Standard Southern Cross guy, Paladin. Standard Grand Cross Guy Paladin. Standard Support Bard. And non-standard Mage, the Time Mage. Alright, so... Basically here, South and Cross Spammer, 12 PA. Um... Can absorb fire, I suppose. I'm also a bit surprised with this one. This one also is not a fire uh, um, type of guy, like with a Sura Knife and... Defense Omelette and stuff like that. You would have been able to sell Grand Cross heal your, yourself right there. Instead of using, instead of just going for solo, heal Grand, Grand Cross. And that's just something I wanted to point out, I suppose. Or maybe if you were going to be doing the Ice Brand Grand Cross healing, you could have swapped out Defense Armlet with um, Jade Armlet. If you wanted to have these two Paladins heal each other up. Um, just something I thought I'd bring up. <coughs> A support bard, as the name would suggest, has faith up. So I'm guessing that um, his white magic would be a lot more accurate. He has a platina dagger just to finish people off. Um, and we also have the dual wield and heal and staff time age with snipe. And he has equip breaks. Should be interesting to see. Uh, the concept is a bit of a fail because the bard has five move. <laughs> Silent caster, I think you might have forgotten about that. <laughs> um, plus if you are going for, um, high MA, uh, hang on one second, I have a phone call. Okay, I'm back. And, yep, time age was sniped, should be very interesting to see. Um, now on to Shintroy, see we got Rune the Ninja, Lunar's the Bard, I'm sorry, that's Lunar's the Oracle, sorry, sorry. PJ the Archer, and PK the Archer. Alright, so, we got here Defensive Item Bot Ninja, and really, really tanky Defensive Item Bot. Defensive and Shershi, Auto Protect, always nice. Five move, which is a decent amount of move for a ninja to have. Scorpion Tail for uh, the Poison procs, good damage. Platina Dagger to finish off with the Klim Hazard proc. Damage Split, so you can shrug off wherever damage this is thrown at that ninja, so I like this setup actually. Uh, support Oracle with again magic defend up and Shershi. Pretty standard, but pretty effective nonetheless. Octagon Rod for spam and frog procs. This is a magic, um, heavy magic tank archer actually, to be honest here. 12 speed, wow. And a poison bow to inflict poison. Magic defend up and an auto shell. Yeah, this. Archer's not going to take much damage from magic at all. And this is a defense up Archer with Satyamson. Not too shabby. I'm guessing this is an all-around defensive team that Shen Troy's got going on here. Um, Wind Slash Bow for Hurricane Prox. Draw out, I believe he has Masamune, I want to say. So, it should be very interesting to see how well um, this team can function. All things considered... Um, Silent Castle is somewhat more of an offensive approach. Sintroy is going from a defensive route. We're going to be going to map 74. Squeegee Woods. Really looking forward to both of these teams going at right here. So, Silent Castle is in the green while Sintroy is in the black. Yep, and there's Masamune. And there's Haste 1. Actually working for a change. Haste 1 I remember having pretty average accuracy, to be honest with you. I mean, nothing against Haste 2 and Slow 2, but I like seeing Haste 1 and Slow 1 utilize a little bit better. Glad I got to see it here. Though, the accuracy is still pretty bad. I'm not sure if that's just low faith or just compat, but... Nonetheless... 
Arrow shot misses. And Hayes hitting two people, actually. There's the battle song. The battle song will help out these paladins. They show heavy damage, however, uh, that Southern Cross missed that time. There's a head break, a very timely head break actually. So no more cross helm out of him. And he and now he lacks the MP to keep doing consistent um Southern Cross. Let's see what non-standard mage is gonna be able to do with this four move. An armor break actually connects. Very nice. And Dunak was unsuccessfully redirected. There's a Clem Hazard proc. See no Hurricane proc there. An arm aim hits. Very nice. The extra speed the archer has is coming into play. Though Southern Cross still hurts. But to Shen Troy's archer's credit, they were able to withstand it. Short charge cure from the bard. Might as well be instant cure. Grand Cross guy is just hanging back right now. And Lunars will go for 80% don't act. The bard did get faith up earlier. So that's why the act that's why the chances are actually pretty high. And it does connect. And down goes one of the archers off the bat. The C armor break misses. The ninja just has to get in range and attack, but instead, he's lined himself up for Southern Cross. DF for very low amount, actually. I don't think that Oracle should be made for directly attacking, anyways. And. Are these guys lining themselves up for... Never mind. I was going to say, are these guys lining themselves up for triple southern cross, but... The archers just said, regardless, no. First shot got blocked. Time edge goes for a slow and gets it. He is still poisoned, so he'll be going down eventually. Unless an Asuna happens. Another don't act hit. And one more don't act hit. Yay, yeah, Turo's team, um, um, Soundcaster's team, sorry, is not looking too good here. Because the rest of Shintroy's unit can just gain some free damage. And Donak does hit. And there's haste one work uh, working once again. Uh, but yeah, Shintroy um, going for more of the debilitating um, route of dismantling opponents, and it's definitely working. D is used at least for anti sandbag. Seventy-one percent armor break misses. But yeah, the good thing about the. Uh, the Platina Dagger is with that Clem Hazard proc, you can still finish off opponents quite decisively. And that's what Shin Troy is going for here. So it's just now simply a matter of time before Shin Troy takes round one, and we will be heading off to round two. Bard's going to go for the race two. It might actually still hit. It's gonna hit I think yep it does connect but paralyze hits right afterwards so that bar won't be raising any more people anytime soon and the time age is gonna be going down once again comboed up by the ninja and the archer there's the armor break so now it's just gonna simply be a matter of chasing that bar down Spell magic getting rid of haste, so he'd be easier to chase down. <laughs> I 
the bar still has five moves, so he's going to be still tough to chase down. While the rest of Shinstroy's units don't have a lot of mobility. At least not compared to Soundcaster's team anyways. One more don't act hits. Then Ninja just simply needs to get in range and finish off the bard. He's certainly more than able to. Bard snags the uh, other crystal that was up. So yeah, he's pretty much all by his lonesome right now. Oh jeez, how much longer is this going to take? Oh boy, are they just derping around? Yeah, the, the AI is derping around, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if we're just going to skip to round two. Alright, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give Shintroy's team one more minute right about now to start taking out that bard. Because if not, we're going to skip to round two. And I'm, and I'm already giving the match to Shintroy anyways. Yeah, uh... Come on. Okay, at least damage has finally started to happen. Come on, people. Speed things up. Is the AI, like, seriously not really afraid of approaching that bard? He's all by himself. And don't just keeps on hitting. Alright, now the ninja's gonna be able to finish him off. Finally! Finally! We're going to round two. Alright, round two's about to begin as we are now in map 116, the arena. It's been a while since we actually seen this map. It's very flat, no obstacles. Um, yeah, everyone can just get right in there and do their damage. And there's Nurse from Standard Grand Cross Guy, while Standard Southern Cross Guy fails to whack the Oracle. And we're going to see a Don't Act coming up, but Standard Support will be right there. <laughs> Damage split for all of five. Arm aiming actually lands. Nice, nice uh, redirect right there from Silent Caster. But, that got quickly negated thanks to the item bot ninja. Armor break lands. Slow misses. So the haste is still on. Silent Caster's time is going to try to go for another slow. Wow, twice. Southern Cross got blocked. Oh, there's the frog. There's that frog proc. Slow does finally land, but Soundcast is already at a disadvantage. A major disadvantage. 
Time Age only knows snipe, so he can only just break stuff, but that's really it. So, yes, this is going to be a very quick victory for Shintroy. Although I do like the double uh, heal and staff heal, but I don't think this is going to really do too much at this point. I mean, yeah, you can still th throw slows around, but... Okay, for Soundcaster, his only hope is that uh, Shin Troy's Don't Act procs keep missing. At least the ninja's blinded, so Southern Cross, uh, Grand Cross, excuse me, might do his job. We all gonna have to wait and see, though. There's a critical quick. And double panel slow. Arm it, arm it on the, on the frog. Not that it would honestly matter at this point. Charm would have definitely changed things, but... Right now, I don't see that happening. At least with the ninja being blind, his accuracy is not that high. No critical... Uh, even though it wasn't a critical quick, the time age would have easily gotten a turn. Slow being refreshed, and there's one more I don't act. And I think despite this... Soundcaster is going to be on a losing end. Don't act can help out units that are blinded. Dispel measure taking the Masamune effect off. Armor break lands, willing down that paladin. Crit shot. Very nice. Re-raise trick. Not going to work out too well. Now it's over. Alright, so Shinstroy, good job, you take this one. GG.